Men forgot how to have freaking fun. Fathers have forgotten how to have fun. Told this group of men, you're boring. You're boring. I don't feel that funness. Like, have some more fun. Lighten the hell up. It's not that serious. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And I'll tell you what, this episode is going to be freaking fun. No, literally, we're talking about fun. Was that a cheesy intro? Well, we're rolling with it. I don't give a shit. We're going to have some freaking fun in this episode. This is about having fun. Because here's a, a truth that I've realized that I've noticed in general in, in the last week. If you didn't watch it, you should go really watch that before this because it really sets up. It's really part one. And this is part two. Last week was about having a sense of humor in general as a man and today is just about fun because men have forgotten how to have fucking fun fathers have forgotten what it means to have fun they've forgotten what fun is as a kid so they end up having kids and they're not no longer fun because they've forgotten what fun fucking is like they think they like if you think about what was fun for you as a kid probably similar things are going to be fun for your kids but you're so too uptight and taking life too seriously and too much work and, too, and stress and responsibilities and, 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 and building a business and all uptight and having anxiety and fear and doubt and procrastination, all these other bullshit things and bullshit stories going on inside your head. And you have these thoughts about money. You're never making enough money. And, and a lot of times the lack of fun is due to the lack of money. But I'll tell you what, fun is fucking free. For the, of course, you could have more fun when you have more money. It's not that I'm, I'm a believer in making a shitload of money, but men forgot to how to have freaking fun. Fathers have forgotten how to have fun. Now, I'm wearing this squat, one of these Squire shirts here today. We just had a Squire program a couple weeks ago, a couple Saturdays ago. And, and there's a time we break the fathers and sons apart, and I take the fathers and I go and work with them. We do some, some deep work together. And, and I told them, I said, in general, and I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule, like always. I'll never say all of you or whatever. But in general, I told this group of men, you're fucking boring. You're boring. I don't feel that funness. Like, have some more fucking fun. Lighten the hell up. It's not that serious. Have a little sense of humor. Have fun with this experience. Like, you're boring motherfuckers. Like, I told this, and, and I think in general, I've seen that. Now I've been working in, in all different men's groups. I have the, the Freak Father Alliance men's mentorship group coaching program. I do OTD one-on-one -on -one coaching for men. We have things like the Squire program, which is for fathers and sons, a project which is for men, and so many other leadership courses and around the country. And men have become fucking boring. They've become duds. And this ties into an upcoming episode about why have men become soft and weak? And men have also become stupid, but men have also become boring and less fun. Now, with certain things like daily discipline and habits, those things need to be boring. And I have, I've actually talked about that, about my boring life, like how success is boring and some of these, these things are boring. I'm just writing some notes, actually, for a future episode as it pops in my head, because that's how shit works. But men have become boring. They take life too serious. So as I'm preparing for this episode today, I'm getting ready for it earlier this morning. So there's a, a kill time on the calendar on the, on the time blocking where it's kill time. I'm doing the deep work that only I can do. And that's when I'm preparing for this episode. And that's a it could be a skill time. I'm really doing research and, and preparing the topics and stories and and jokes and humor that's going to be in these episodes. And, I'm, and Tyson was there with me. He's working here in, in the office. We call this the war room, the kill room, when we're getting some deep work done together. And I asked him, I said, am I fun? And he immediately said, yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. What makes me fun? Like what makes me fun? So I want to challenge you as men, go to your kids and ask them if you have the fucking balls to do it, because you might not like the answer you get because you probably know the answer. Ask them, am I a fun father? And then what makes me fun? I want, I want you to, you should hear it from your kids. 
And of course, he gave me a couple of things first and we started talking about it. And then he thought of some more things. And then one of the, like the second thing he said is, well, you, you kind of drink a lot of beer and you're never home. We don't really spend much time together. You just sit on the couch all the day and watch sports and eat, eat food. That was fun. That was the, the ties into the sense of humor of last week. Like we can have a serious conversation and not be so serious about it. Like it was a pretty serious, semi-deep conversation about that that we're having but still being able to lighten up and bring sense of humor into the com into the conversation serious conversation about fun see how this all fucking ties together these are all life skills and so after him talking shit about me drinking beer and all these other things he said well you're fun because you're funny because you talk crack jokes all the time you talk a lot of shit you talk crap and you say a lot of bad words and that's pretty funny. And that's pretty fun. That's what makes you fun. But also you do fun stuff. Like we go shooting together and take us places. When you go on trips, you take us. You go to, go to an event that you could just be working and leave us home and you take us with you. And we even let us participate if we can, if we're capable of it. Or we'll just hang out there with you so we can hang out together. That shit is fun. Then actual things like just playing video games together. Because you know what? Not all dads will sit there and have the patience to play games with their, with their sons. Not only will I have the patience to do it, I've done that since I was a fucking kid. I remember what fun was when I was a kid. Doing crazy shit, wrestling, fighting, going outside. We do airsoft wars and jelly ball wars and go to the obstacle course and do crazy obstacles and, and crazy workouts are fun. Hard stuff is fun. He said workouts are fun. He said hard things are fun. But I was like, all right, well, why are the workouts and hard stuff fun? He said, because we're doing it together. So these are what he's telling me. I got to ask my daughter too. She wasn't home yet. They were away. They just got back on a, f- a flight from New York. I'm going to ask her the same thing just for my own reference. And then if you don't like the answers you get or you, you, you hear the answer you get, you know to start to do more of that shit as a man, as a father. What makes you fun? Because life should be fucking fun. What's the point of busting your ass and hustling and grinding and building this empire if you're not having any fun in the process? There's nothing that gets you fucking excited for. Nothing that lights you the fuck up. Nothing that lights a fire under your ass. It gets you excited about waking up in the morning. Like you wake up in the morning, it's not like, oh, fuck my life. It's more like, fuck, yeah, fuck my life. Fucking awesome life. Shit that lights you the fuck up and gets you up out of bed with thunder in your steps and fire in your fucking belly, ready to attack the day and have some freaking fun. Excited to wake up each day and looking forward to each day's tasks and just life in general. This, this lack of having fun shows up in the attitude and the body language of how men show up to situations and conversations with the lack of eye contact. And again, we have the message about the, the episode coming up about how men have gone soft. Part of they've gone soft because they forgot how to have fucking fun. They got so caught up in the mix, so caught up in the bullshit, they forgot how to have fucking fun. They forgot how to have a sense of humor, to laugh, to crack jokes, to be sarcastic. Again, watch the last week's episode. It's a T queuing up for this episode. But then you combine fun. Think about it. If you can make your work and your business fun, obviously your hobbies should be fun, but your spare time, make your spare time fun with hobbies you actually like. Make your workouts fun maybe by doing them with the people or doing fun activities or whatever, your, your fitness and your workouts, m- m- having fun making money. Imagine being, being able to have fun making money to your work. You're having fun with your work. That's a life you don't need a fucking vacation from. When you have a sense of humor like we talked about last week, when you remember how to have fun as a man, you now are crafting this ideal freak freedom lifestyle where you have a life you don't need a vacation from because it's fucking fun all the time. It's fun when you work. It's fun when you're working out. It's fun when you're by yourself. It's fun when you're doing hard shit. It's fun when you're doing scary shit. It's fun even when you're doing boring shit. You turn even boring shit into fun. The ability to have fun, the ability to have a sense of humor is a superpower. Having fun will make your life more fulfilling. It makes everything better by doing so. What else do I do for fun if I think about it? So we go and play in the pool and... I was just thinking, we were just, Tyson and I were home alone for like four or five days, six days did this, this last week. And we went in the, the jacuzzi in the pool one night. And sometimes I'll just go in the jacuzzi. I don't feel like going to the pool. 
and his sister will be in there and they'll be screwing around or maybe his mother and the dogs will be in there playing. But it was just the two of us. And I said, no, I'm just going to go into the jack. He's like, come on, just come in the pool. And I'm like, you know what? What a loser I'd be if I don't at least go in the pool with them. It's just the two of us here. Why not jump in, fuck it, and go in the pool? It's not even cold. Like, oh, like There's no reason not to. Even though I, I maybe thought I didn't feel like, I'm like, fuck it. It'll be fine. I'm going to go in the pool. We get in the pool. I'm like, all right, but we're not fighting in the pool. Because I know the second we get in the pool, he wants a brawl. And we both leave all banged up and bruised because we're just wrestling and fighting and drowning each other and just having fun, having fun. So I'm like, no, no fighting. He's like, oh, come on. What would you even come in the pool for? I'm like, fuck it. We're going to also fight. Fighting is fun. Like, especially young boys and their fathers. Wrestling, fighting, scrapping. We call it crazy time. Like the second I get in the pool, I have to have my defenses up because I'm getting attacked. But that is fun. So I had to go and take that opportunity to have this type of fun. So I don't become that dude I was talking about at the beginning that forgot how to have fun as a man, as a father. Doing that fun shit, the wrestling, the crazy time. We went to an amusement park recently with all these crazy, how fast did that one roller coaster go? 82 miles an hour. And it's just like a waist lap thing on you. And you go upside down. No harness on your shoulders. Some loop-de-loop bullshit. And I'll go on any crazy ride. I don't really care. But they're going to make me freaking seasick and, and whatever. And I'll still go on them all. And I was thinking, you know what? I'm not going to go on these rides. You guys just go on them. I'll just wait here while you guys are there. I'll just kept, I'll catch up on some messages or something. Again, thinking, what a fucking loser. We're here going on some roller coaster that's 80-something miles an hour. And I want to sit here and what? Do a fucking social media post? Catch up on emails? Like, Hell no. I'm here to have fun. Don't fall into that trap. We will, we will validate it and, and make excuses to not have fun. It makes no fucking sense. And the shit was, was awesome. We'll go back. We'll do these rides again. And I'll be all sick all over again and feel like I'm going to yak up my guts again. But it's fun. Like that shit is fun. Danger is fun. Exci- craziness is fun. Excitement is fun. We also go shooting every week. Go to the shooting range every week. We do self-defense training. We go to workshops together. All this stuff is fun. So again, tying fun into all these different areas. We make work fun. We have a thing called Freak Night. It's Freak Night. It's actually coming up this Thursday. We pick two or three major projects that we're working on, and we pretty much stay up as long as it takes to complete those projects. But the way we do it, we go about two and a half to three hours of just grinding deep work kill time. Then we take about an hour, hour and a half for a break. We go play some video games then come back out for two and a half to three hours of another block of kill time. Then we go play games again for an hour, hour and a half together. So it's like that reward. Rewards make the work fun. Tying it together, knowing that we're going to do that gets such high quality work done. And we're also doing work that we enjoy doing. It's not even hard, like things that we don't like doing. So we're having fun with the work with the reward that's also fun. This is how you, have, you, again, create this life you don't need a vacation from. You can it, it, combine fun with all these different areas. And the work is fun and rewarding. And then your reward for the fun and rewarding work is more fun rewards. Fuck yeah, sign me up every day of the week. Do you know leadership is more powerful when there's a reward more than there's just a risk of punishment and threats? Ten, study and study... Uh, all the time, including in the military, where the leadership is more powerful and effective and productive when there's praise and appreciation and and then rewards attached to it rather than punishment or threats or risk of punishment or discipline if it's not done. Talk about whatever positive reinforcement, negative. Yes, there's a time and place for negative reinforcement, but basically that positive reinforcement when it comes to leadership and getting shit done is going to be 10 times more effective than the others. We also have fun. We try to make our family meetings. We have family meetings, which could be looked at as boring. It's like, we, but we make it fun. We talk some shit. We laugh. We make a family meeting as fun as possible. And sometimes it gets serious. Sometimes there's some, some debates and arguments, but that's fine. That, that's also exciting. Exciting is fun. Creating, t- 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 taking f- conflict and turning conflict into fun. We'll listen to some crazy, stupid book sometimes on a long car drive. Make that more fun. Have good conversations. Make that fun. Again, recording this podcast right now like this shit is fun. This could be boring because Tyson just sits here and and listens to me babble for hours every week. And he's like, what the fuck? I got to hear this guy talking a bunch of more shit. And but we have fun when we're doing this. We we talk shit in between. We we he gets some work done right now and work that he actually likes doing. He'll read a book that he likes reading that he wants to read. So that's fun. He'll do some other stuff in between while he's paying attention here. 
That is fun. The work is fun. Then the time in between, we're having some fun talking shit. Tie fun and a sense of humor into every freaking thing you do because this is what it's all about. Life should be fun. Your legacy should be fun. Your deathbed, your death, your funeral should be fun. Imagine that. That's a fucking superpower when you could turn not just your life, not just your legacy, but also your death into something that's fun. Like have a mother, I said it last week on the sense of humor, have a motherfucking party at my funeral for the life I lived and for whatever impact I had on you and the things you learned and the shit that we talked and the jokes that we had and the fun shit we did together. That's what my funeral is about. Have fun at a funeral. Fun at a funeral. Because again, fun is free and fun is freedom. Fun is freaking freedom. Keep that in mind. You are free when you could tie fun into your work, into your workouts, into relationships, into hard shit, into boring shit, into money-making shit, into impact-generating shit. Have more fun. As a man, stop being a funless father. Just because you're in the home doesn't mean you're like this big ball of fun. Like, remember what it's like to have fun. Go ask those questions to your kids and listen to the fucking answers and the ways that they tell you are fun, you know what to do more of. And if they're not telling you a lot, you know to just, all right, what would be fun then? What could we do fun together? Ask your kids this. Ask your spouses. Ask your friends this. Stop being a fucking milk dud. Stop being a zombie and a robot. Lighten the fuck up. What's the point of of relentlessly building this empire and making all this money and doing all this other shit. If you can't enjoy it, you're not having fun along the way. The entire journey and process should be fun. The journey should be fun. And then the reward to that fun journey should also be a fun reward. Again, boom, fucking force multiplier when you throw fun into that, that freak fun into any situation. And again, this is some of the stuff we work on in the Freak Father Alliance about how to make fathers fun again. How to make them better leaders, how to make them fun leaders and fun fathers and fun leaders of their household in the Freak Father Alliance, where I help entrepreneurial fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, have more fucking fun so they can attack their mission to create their ideal freak freedom lifestyle and create time freedom for their families and have a shitload more fun along the way. So they create a life they don't need a vacation from. Have some freak fun. I want to hear in the comments below, how do you have fun as a father? And also, what did your kids answer when you asked them that question? Am I fun? And how am I fun? And then what are you going to do about that information? What are you going to do with that information? I want to hear in the comments down below. Let me know what you do for fun as a freak father. I will see you next time on the Steve Eggers Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. Go have some motherfucking fun. No excuses.